Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and in this series we're creating a detailed game ready axe. In this episode I'll talk about a few problems you might come across when you bring objects into sculpt mode and we'll be sculpting the wooden handle and the straps at the bottom. If you like what you see here then check out the description for my website and playlist section of my channel for other free courses. Or you can follow the links to my character course where you can learn to make a full game ready detailed character from scratch. Okay, so here's where we got to last time. Let's go back to layout mode and think about the handle this time. Now we're going to want to take this into sculpting, but we just need to prepare it quickly first. One thing that won't work in sculpt mode is the mirror modifier. Although it does work, you won't be able to remesh. If I go to sculpt mode now and then do a remesh with control R, you can see it's got all these holes in. So back to layout mode over my modifiers with the spanner here and press control A. One other thing that's worth checking as well before you do this is to go up to your overlays here and the drop down there and just check the face orientation. It should all look blue. If you've got anything that looks red, let's click on the blade for example and go into edit mode, select all and press shift N and tick the outside options there. You can see this is the red that I'm talking about. So you need to make sure the normals, the face direction is facing outwards and not inwards. So these are facing inwards. So we need to just press shift N again. If it doesn't change, then you just tick the inside because there are some cases where let's say you had a room or something like that and you made it with a box, you'd want the normals to be on the inside rather than the outside. Okay, so let's go back to object mode with tab, click on my handle. Let's go back and turn the face orientation off under the overlays. And one more thing, let's press N on a keyboard and go to item. We've got non-uniform scale just there, so I'll press control A and set the scale. Now you'll notice when I press control A you can set the scale that there's an option down here rotation and scale which is quite normal to do and in this case I will do it but I'll just show you what happens when I don't. So let's go to sculpt mode quickly and let's press shift R to bring up my remesh and you can see it's at an angle so it assumes this object's at an angle. So if we want to solve that it's not going to make a huge difference but I think in this case we'll make sure it's all nice and flat. Let's go back to layout. The rotation there in the Y was the issue. So let's press Control A and reset the rotation as well. And you see that's all at naught, this is all at one. Let's go to sculpting now. Press Shift R to edit our remesh scale and bring this right down. Now we can go fairly fine because we've already set up the shape. So I can go to at least 0 0.01 in my case. So you're looking to get the faces the same size as mine and that should be fine. So Control R to actually apply that and we can see some changes there. I'll just make my brush nice and big hold down shift and smooth these areas out. Oh, one thing I forgot to do, let's undo that quickly. Turn on the symmetry in the Y. Let's do that again, smooth out, quickly just over our shape. And we're all there. Now in here, I just want to change the shape very slightly. So into the grab brush here, F to resize and just make this, because this is going to be a knot in the wood. I'm just going to make it a bit more circular. Not much in it really. A little bit more curve going into there, maybe a bit more smoothing out there. Just have a good look around, make sure I'm happy. And just tuck those in really slightly. Minor changes, but that all looks fine. Okay, so a quick remesh again, Control R because we changed the shape very slightly. And let's go to the Draw Sharp brush. So nice small brush with this. So F to resize, bring down my brush. And let's just quickly see what that's going to look like. Now actually, I haven't remeshed enough. You can see the sort of bobbliness of this where the faces aren't fine enough and detailed enough. So I'll actually undo that and shift R, let's bring this much finer to something like 0 0.0. We start to actually lose sight of the mesh at that point. So let's control R and see how we get on with that. Let's just have a quick look. That's a bit better, but I think we can go a bit further. I'll bring up my statistics as well that might help you. So I'll bring the overlays down and statistics. So you can just see the face size there. And remember that's only my handle. So let's undo the strokes here and Shift R and we're going to go down to 0 0.05 ish somewhere around there. Let's have a quick look again. Control R to remesh and that took just a brief second and that's much nicer. So a bit more smoothness there and that's about what we're looking for because when we're about this sort of distance you can't really see those faces and when we shade smooth as well on this object that will be fine. Now I'm going to go a bit further with my remesh because my computer can handle it but this should be fine for your computer. So 400,000 triangles should be okay for most, but I'm going to go a bit finer to 0.003 and do a remesh there. And now I'm up to a million faces and you can see the type of smoothness I'm getting here. So I dig in and then smooth out as well. I get a nice smooth result. 
So the more faces, obviously, the smoother sculpt you'll get. Like I say, it shouldn't matter too much if you're about 300,000 to 400,000 triangles, but it does make a tiny bit of difference when it comes to baking later. You get a little bit more detail. Okay, so I've followed the grain of my bark there, and I'm going to make a few of those type of marks down here. It's quite stylized this, so they're fairly chunky, obvious lines. I'll make my brush a little bit smaller than that though, and come in a little bit deeper. Around here, I want to create that knot that I was talking about. And I'll hold down control to sort of stick this edge out a little bit. Then a few grains in here. So following the grain of the wood, it will turn up towards that knot slightly if you've got a knot like mine. You may have your own style, but if you're following along with my guide, you're going to have a knot as well. Notice I'm being a bit careful not to go into the center at the moment, because if I go too close, you'll see symmetry there, and you can see a bit at the moment, and I will tidy that up a little bit later, but I'm just for now putting a few lines in so we get the idea of this sort of grainy wood. Okay, so I'm down at the bottom here, so we'll start off with our circles for our wood there. Come in with these notches. In fact, before I do that, I might use the scrape brush. Now the scrape brush is quite nice, it gives a nice stylized look. I'll go a little bit bigger and just dig into these edges slightly like this. So it's not so sharp, it's got that sort of stylized look then, hasn't it? Well, you might agree anyway. Back to the draw sharp. And again, just more of these grains. They're fairly straightforward, really. Nothing too special about them. They're just lines drawn in with the draw sharp. The draw sharp's a lovely brush, really, because it feels like you're just drawing on your mesh rather than kind of sculpting your, just sketching away. Okay, so back up to the top here. Get that scrape brush again, a bit bigger, and just bring this edge in a bit like this. So it's got that stylized World of Warcraft look. Now it's nice the way the brush turns like this. It tells you exactly where you are on the mesh. So do use that and think about where it is on the actual mesh. And I'll smooth that out just a touch. So it follows the normals. It's quite clever. Back to the draw brush. Oh, let's actually draw in R. Okay, so I'm going up five times the speed here just to speed things up. It's the same sort of thing, just drawing those lines in the mesh and following the grain. Hold down shift, of course, to smooth out every now and again, make sure it's nice and clear. Okay, that's not too bad for the moment. Let's turn off the symmetry and come into the actual middle bits here. And I can actually even do some curves. Let's see what that looks like. It's kind of interesting. Not sure it's working though. <laughs> Okay, again, speeding things up here, but with the symmetry turned off, you need to go in and do that sort of middle section. I also go to the grab brush and start pulling things around in the moment. This knot in here doesn't look particularly nice, so I pull it around a bit and change the shape just slightly. Don't go too drastic if you're changing things with the grab brush. Um, just make slight adjustments so it goes off symmetry and looks a li little bit less uniform. Okay, that's enough for now. I might come back later on and do some fine details like some scratches and things like that, but we'll leave that as it is for now. Let's move to the strap now. Now, if you want to change items in sculpt mode, you can press control tab to go to object mode, click on the new item and control tab to go to sculpt mode. So control tab is just a quick way of getting to this menu up here. Okay, so I'm in sculpt mode for this, but I think that's still got the mirror on, so I'm going to need to apply that. So control A over there, the mirror is applied. However, the last thing I need to do, let's press N, this one has rotation as well, and the scale for that matter. So into object mode, control tab, object mode, control A, rotation and scale. And we can see zero and one, that's great. Let's get rid of that menu with N, control tab to go to sculpt mode, and now we can start remeshing and so forth. So shift R, make it nice and fine. We'll go 0 0.04, see what that's like. Control R to do the actual remesh. And let's go to the draw sharp and just quickly smooth out make sure that's all good. Now you can see this is a bit more lumpy because of the mesh, so actually I probably went a bit too fine with my remesh, which took me to about a million triangles. But I think that should look all right. Okay, so gonna use the draw sharp again. I could use the clay strips on here, but it's about the right thickness, so I don't want to increase the thickness too much. Let's just use the draw sharp, bring it down, and then just start thinking about where we want these lines. Oh, I've done it again. I've smoothed out without the mirror on. So tick the Y, let's just resize the brush and smooth that out a bit more. So on the draw sharp, nice and small, and with the mirror on, let's start thinking about where these straps might go. So I'm just drawing in 
where they could go as a rough guide for now. Okay, now I'm going to go to the clay strips and just bulk up some and push back others. So bulk up these sort of edges around here and then smooth out. So just on the edge where they overlap, then smooth out. And this one, make it a bit bigger and dig in. Back to the draw sharp. So crossed between the clay strips and the draw sharp to kind of build up this strap. So I'm using that to give some definition between the straps there and as if they're overlapping each other. So I want this one to come in a bit more, hence why I'm smoothing that area out there. And I'll use the reverse draw sharp. So it's going to bring it out. So holding down control, we'll bring it out like this over the other one. So again, following that pattern, using the draw sharp and the clay strips to bulk up and to refine the edges. Ah, look, the remesh has done something slightly strange there. So if I press Control R to do another remesh, yep, that's sorted it out, and that's good. So continuing that process with the clay strips and the draw sharp, just to build up and push in and refine. In a second, I use the grab brush to just lift up one of the straps as if it's overlapping one of the other ones. Uh, very minor detail there, but it kind of helps sell the whole idea. Then softly going over it with the draw sharp to give them that sort of um, clothy strap-like look. And if you ever need to, remember that scrape brush just there. You might want to just scrape some of these down a touch. I don't like them when they go too sharp. They look a bit sort of jaggedy and pointy. All right, how are we looking? And they look kind of strap-like. <laughs> Okay, so there's some basic sculpting of the wooden handle and the straps as well. Hopefully this has given you a good idea and a good insight into sculpting. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.